Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope everyone is having a great morning today. All right, a couple of things here we need to cover real quick. Uh, FHA, just change the guidelines for student loans. If you have a zero payment on your credit report before, it was 1% of the balance. Okay, now it's a half a percent. There's a lot of people who, who were borderline qualifying before, but now this can help them get into the marketplace. That's a double-edged sword, right? Because first and foremost, the market is flooded right now. Uh, it's absolutely flooded. It's starting to turn a little bit. There's some people getting turned off because they can't find the house. Uh, they're getting frustrated. Uh, they're, they're just, you know, throwing their hands up and said, screw it. I'm going to rent until things open up some more. So, um, so this could flood the market even more, but you know, on the other hand, if you're a first time home buyer, couldn't qualify, couldn't get into the marketplace, this could help you help you get over the hump here. Okay. So, uh, real important to understand. So if there's a balance in the payment, then that's what we have to go with. But if there's a zero payment, because a lot of times it shows up on a credit report, where it just has a balance, but a zero payment. Before it was 1% of the balance. So if somebody had $100,000 in debt, which is craziness, but it is what it is. Um, that's That was 1%, now it's a half a percent. So uh, this really can affect ratios and so forth. And don't forget FHA, you can go up to 55 you know, debt to income ratio, um, depending on factors and, and so forth, okay? Uh, second thing, debt, consol debt consolidation. Uh, this is a big thing here because uh, I got two two refinances in yesterday where people were looking to uh, increase their cash flow. Very important to understand, okay? Because a lot of people get hung up on the interest rate on the current mortgage. You got to look at how do I increase cash flow and what do I do with that cash flow? Do I take that cash flow and apply it to different investments uh, conservatively, not you know you know being totally like reckless and and you know risk free? Uh, so basically, increasing your cash flow can really uh, establish your budget now because inflation is coming and, and it's not coming, it's here already. And it's, it's really, you know, increasing at a much faster rate than what people were thinking. So if you can lock in your budget and consolidate some debt and on top of that, cut down your term. Okay. That can really, really change your dynamic on going forward and in, in the future. So real important. So, it, you know, if, if you're thinking about, you know, doing some, you know, doing some cash out, uh, and paying off some debt, uh, talk to us and you know comment down below. Shoot me a private message or text me at four two three two six two nine two two nine. It's real important uh, to really look at everything and you know uh, apply that savings towards towards something else, whether it's back into your savings into your checking account or applying it towards your you know future you know. And obviously, you know as we get older, we got kids going to college and, and so forth. So if we can free up some cash to help you with that during this time. Uh, we would love to help you with that, okay? All right, so that's two important points. Let me know if you got any questions. Comment down below. Shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great, great, what is today? Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Have a great Wednesday, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.